Hello everybody, it's Sephiroth Level 4 for another episode of Kirby 64, the Crystal Shards. In the last episode we started off the first two stages of Level 2, Rockstar. Now, uh, I just noticed that the crayon that I'm using, I think says... I don't know, what does it say? Pop... Popter? I don't know. But anyway, let's get into Level 3, Stage 3, whatever it is. Area 3. Mmm, I love this music. Uh, as you can see, I have rock power. Uh, you're going to want rock, but it is not found in this level. Uh, I like, whenever I, I need rock in a hurry, I just go to level 1, 2. <laughs> and, uh, you know, because that's rock is like right there. There's a whole bunch of powers like right at the beginning there. So you're going to need that for the second, no, for the first, excuse me, for the first uh, shard in this level. So just be careful. Uh, it should be yeah, right over here. I wish those guys gave you like dark power, but anyway, you just need to be rock and roll down over here and you can break right through his vertebra. And yeah, that's it. Uh, you do not need any particular powers for the other two shards, so for the rest of the level, have fun! Why not? Let's get a volcano! I just like being able to control that, it's fun. <laughs> he was just standing there like, is he have a vault? Is he have? Yeah, that's, that's, that's what he said. That enemy was not particularly literate. Uh, when you fall over here, you have a choice of two pits. Go left. Otherwise, you'll be sorry. Uh, let's see, what do we got here? Okay, so we got a boss here. Um, the boss's name, do I have? Fishbone. What's the story, Fishbone? These guys actually give you cutter power. Which is kind of cool. Um, so may as well uh, kill them. Uh, you don't get a... Uh, you don't get a crystal shard from killing it directly, but when you fall down here, you can see we're back over here. If you went into the other pit, I think you would still fight the boss, but you would be on the uh, path in the front, and you would completely miss out on the crystal shard, and you'd be very upset. I guess if you're having to replay this, you could just go and, you know, get the thing over there, but eh. I don't like double cutter. It makes me slow. And then I can't kill all these magic carps. Anyway, we're going to get to something really important here. First of all, Antlion, be careful. I don't think you can kill it, but it can hurt you. And I think if this is what I think it is. And you get Cutter. And you get... No, this is something else. Cutter and, uh... And, uh... Ice give you ice skates. They don't really work too well in uh, underwater, obviously, but um, you can jump and it makes a little thingy like that. Uh, yeah, I don't know, it's just kind of fun. <laughs> I was thinking of something else. I, I was thinking of a different level. But uh, I guess it, it lets you move, which is cool, and you can jump. And the jump does do a little bit of damage, so, yeah. Kind of useful. If you kept stone, I would suggest putting stone and the snow and uh, ice together, because that's just amazing. But yeah, now... Wow, we can actually use that underwater? Really? Cool. Um, there should be... Actually, no, don't do that. Don't... Yeah, don't use that here. No, let's go up. Uh, there's going to be a... No, not the... No, 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 don't press B. Don't press B. There's going to be a crystal shard in this area, and it's going to be kind of annoying to get. But, yeah, just hold down so that you miss all these guys. I think it's in the next room? Well, obviously, but... The next room is the one where stuff starts happening. Namely... Namely, button mashing. Button mash! 
Come on. Got all these little fish bones here, but where is the thing that I'm talking about? There we go. Vertebra start falling on you for some reason. I don't know why, but they do. So yeah, uh, they do not hurt you, but they will crush you all the way down to the bottom, and that's bad. But the way out is over there, but yeah, you got a uh, crystal shard there and a giant section of vertebra, so that's not what I wanted to do. Most Kirby games don't let you do that underwater, so that's kind of cool. Anyway, that's the end of the level. <laughs> I did it, guys! I got a mystery card! <laughs> Sorry. Uh, let's see. For this one... Alright. This one is fun. It's the pyramid level. Uh, just watch the pyramid in the background as I go along. Uh, we are going to want Bomb and Spark. If you recall... Yeah, just look how it moves up like that as you start getting closer. Uh, get the Bomb out here, and Spark is going to be inside the level. Um, if you recall, that is the, uh, that is the, use your words, Dovi. Ah! Haha! -ha. Yeah, be careful he turns around. No, 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 it's gonna crush me! No, it's not. Bomb and Spark is the light bulb. We are actually gonna have use for it. And now I'm gonna stop talking because this is my favorite music track in the game. Okay, I'm pretty sure those guys are spark power, so you're going to want to combine with them now. Uh, first, obviously, get the shard over here. Don't get crushed. Also, if you let the power dangle too much on the ground, it will just die. Uh, but yeah, this is the purpose. It lights up the room and shows you that Adeline drew a, a tree of fish in a cloud. Why does that matter? Because of this room. Tree! Hold down to push the buttons, if that's not obvious. The heck is the fish? Are you telling me this is a fish? Really? Is this a fish? I guess it is! Uh, and yeah, simple as that. And now, we're up over here. This place is crazy, guys. I love it. And yeah, we're gonna eat these guys. I think they're called Spark Eyes. Spark Dash Eye. Spark Eye. I don't know. Is this not like the best music track in any video game ever? Well, I know it's not actually the best video. Ah! Yeah, it's not actually the best video game track in any game ever, but it's it's close, isn't it? Come on, come on. There we go. So what we're gonna do here is literally just stand here. Isn't that great? I love doing that to enemies. Uh, anyway, let's get out of here. The battle's over. The battle's over. <laughs> uh, you can climb all the way up those uh, things, but the little spark things form on them if you do, so just be careful. I love the little happy faces, though. It's like, we don't want to kill you, but we will. Let's see, where are we for time? Uh, eh, yeah, we're pretty good on time, actually. Yeah, let's do the boss, why not? I hate this boss. <laughs> this is my second hated boss in the game. Anyway, let's just run around here as we listen to the amazing music. 
you can't actually do any damage to these guys until I can duck. Yeah, okay. Until you get to the top, so just avoid them. Okay, now there are two of them. What are they gonna do? They're gonna start spinning. That was close. Now you have to like predict where they're gonna be. I like how you're just going to the top of the pyramid here and like everything is getting less constructed. And now there's three of them. What are they going to do? Open down. Oh, that was bad. <laughs> Anyway, now that we're at the top, they get a health bar. This is Pix. P I X. As you can see, they have these like little DNA molecules that kind of appear. Uh, you can suck them in, and if you shoot them at any of them, it does damage. But if you shoot it specifically at the corresponding color, then it does a lot more damage. It's kind of interesting. Anyway, let's see if we can just hurt them by. Yeah, so now they're just gonna kind of shoot you. Are you too- are you- oh. Really? Okay, you know what? Screw it. Uh, yeah, so it does more damage if you shoot it at the correct color, otherwise it just kind of hurts them a little bit, like... Oop. See what they're gonna- they're gonna do that again. You don't want to jump through this. Okay, they should do their little thing where they just go around shooting you again. Or... Oh, I hate this. And I broke one, yay! I like how it just keep, like, keeps going around, but it's just broken. That's how you know you're doing damage. See, it didn't really do as much. Ah, just missed. No, I missed. Yay, kill you, and for the final shot, hooray! Took a little longer than I wanted to, but I was having fun. <laughs> and let's get the final shard of the world. Also, uh, since I'm probably going to make this two recording sessions, um, do you guys want to see the bad ending? Because this game has two endings, one if you do not 100% it, and one when you do, and obviously I'm going to be Poor Kirby sees everyone as food. Um, I'm not going to be 100%... Uh, I am going to be 100 percenting it, but uh, it doesn't show the bad ending if you just 100 percent it immediately. So let me know if you want to see the bad ending as well. <laughs> Thank God Adeline can just paint food. Kirby's just like, I'm eating my cake! No! <laughs> oh, I love it. And in the next episode, we are going to be going to level 3, Aqua Star. The one that everyone hates. <laughs> oh, the boss of this. The boss of this. Anyway, thank you all very much for watching. This has been Sephiroth 204 with Kirby64, the Crystal Shards. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye.